Okay, so we are here at a beautiful uh, overcast Christmas Day sports arena. We're going to be in compliance with all CASA aviation laws, uh, except for, of course, wearing goggles, uh, because, well, that is just what it is in the great nanny state of New South Wales. But uh, I've just watched Joshua Bardwell's, uh, or rather, I've just got done learning about how to do propellers from the uh, FPV Jesus. So leading edge, trailing edge, uh, these motors are spinning props out. So that one will go there. This one will go there, like that. And then Props out so that will go there and that will go there, I think. No? No, I've done that wrong. That's there because it's, if this is facing the front, then these props are spinning this way. So that's like that. And these two would be spinning this way. So I've done that wrong. So that goes there. No. Yes. That way, and that way. Oh my God, look how close that comes to hitting the <laughs> fucking battery. Do you see that? That's like a millimeter of clearance to the battery there. I think we should just fucking send it there. <laughs> so what I might have to do, oh, I didn't bring a screwdriver for this. I was Maybe I, because I could, put the GPS further forward here, which would let me bring the battery more forward. But this is TPU mounted, so it is kind of squishy. So I can just loosen these off. So I can sort of like bring that forward like that. <laughs> just fucking squish it like that. And hopefully that gives us a little more clearance from that. But there we go, that's better. So now that propeller has about mm, a centimeter of clearance here. This one <laughs> comes within half a centimeter of that cable, but I think we've got that cable cinched down pretty good under the battery strap. So that should be fine. I think, yeah. So one more sanity check. Props out, leading edge, leading edge goes this way, yep. This way, leading edge, leading edge, yeah. Okay, somewhat confident that that's the right way. Now for the Nylox. Now I know some people get this step wrong because they're not used to Nylox. So I'm just gonna put these on loosely at first and then I have this guy to secure them more firmly. I absolutely do not want propellers to come off. But we're in luck because there's absolutely no one else here at all. It's Christmas Day, everyone's inside enjoying, I don't know, mashed potatoes or something. New Xbox games. Okay, here we go. So, something that was surprising to me was that the, the bell spins as well as the post. I thought these motors were going to the bell would be a static thing and the post would spin. But no, the bell spins. Ugh. Okay, cool. Ready to go. Controller. Welcome to HTX. Switch warning. Switch warning. Okay. Something else I'm realizing now too is this isn't really as secure as I'd like. Although I think we're in luck. And I'm not sure it's actually possible for it to get clipped by a propeller there. So I think that'll be okay just resting under here, even if that pops out. That's not a big deal. Now, let's get this thing away from me. And we've got a roof directly over our heads here too. We're under a bit of cover. So I'm just gonna run this forward. Okay, got the drone set up over there. Uh, what's next? 
because I'm sitting down, I won't bother putting this on my belt, but you know, something I, I realized I forgot in addition to not having enough uh, of these long screws that go all the way through, uh, I forgot to put holes for the bloody USB drives and oh my God, there's people just showed up now. Fuck. Okay, so we're going to line of sight fly this thing first. I don't have the goggles on. Uh, we're just going to make sure that it's doing all the things that it's supposed to be doing. So, arm, disarm. There's a hornet come to check it out. Oh my god. Alright, so let's, let's test the... Ah, it's facing us. Let's not have it face us. That would be bad if it flew directly at us. Okay, arming. So I'm just going to test the, the pitch and yaw and stuff first. So we're going to pitch forward. Alright, I don't think it's... What have I done wrong? I'm going to double check the propellers, make sure I've absolutely done this right. So we should have text on the top. Yep. Text on the top, yeah, I'm pretty sure these are all correct. Just do one more sanity check. So we got leading edge on the outside, leading edge on the outside. So we should be good. I, I, I had forward uh, pitch, but not backwards. I was expecting to see a little bit of movement like this, and like this, and like this. But the only one I got was really this, which makes me a little nervous. Because I absolutely don't want to take off and this thing go in a direction I don't expect it to. Uh, especially because about 100 meters from us, there's people. So let's check beta flight. So what we can do... How does this work? Device is not online. Oh. <laughs> so, speedy B. This is all correct. The accelerometer is doing what it's supposed to be doing. It's moving in all the right directions, so that's good. Oh, I should take the... I, I've, I've made a fatal error. Uh, whenever connecting to beta flight, you should always disconnect your props, people say, which I have not done. So let's exit out of this operation. <laughs> I think we should just try and fucking send it. Oh, they're right there. God damn. Okay, hang on. Let's go over here. Okay, I'm going to try... Let's stand back. Oh god. Did I not do them tight enough? So anxious about this. <laughs> Alright, step back. Yeah, I feel like it's pushing into the ground. Oh, hang on. Props out. Oh, okay, I got it, I got it. I see the mistake. So, props out should be these two go this way and these two go this way, but I've done them like this. So they're all... <laughs> cool. So I've got them both going like that, but they should be coming in together here in the middle. So, uh, let's go get the tools and fix that mistake. Yeah, so the back propellers need to go this way. So these two sort of come together. So let's remedy that. So all we need to do is put this one... Uh oh. There we go. This one here. So now see these two leading edges come together like this. That's how it should be. And then same thing here. Yeah. Okay, nuts. Isn't this exciting? I think it'll work now. It's hard to do those up super tight because the, the only thing I can hold is the bell, really. Ugh, okay. All right, let's go try again. <laughs> Just keep recording. Oh, and we can do it over here. Arm, 
I need power. Okay. All right, let's do this. Okay. It sounds rough, like like something's loose or something. It's almost like one of the props is bad. Hang on. Oh. Oh, okay. Yeah, so that is a super easy mistake to make. The nylock nuts do have to go way down. So come see if you can film this. See this, this play in here? See that? So yeah, <laughs> I'm basically spinning these up super loose. Um, so cool, all right, that's, that's, a, you, that's a thing that you only need to do once to realize like, oh, well I won't do that again. But then it's hard because the motors are spinning. So how do we... <sighs> Just have to do it like that. Okay, that's snug. Let's do another one. Okay, there we go. This is how we learn. We make mistakes. And this is why NASA takes 20 years to launch before they... Because what, what is it? It's the difference between like SpaceX and NASA is SpaceX wants to fail fast and fail often, whereas NASA's like, no, we've got to get it all right in theory before we fly. Okay, <laughs> I think we're good now. Keep recording. All right, let's try this again. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Hey, that sounds good. All right. Wow. Oh, God. <laughs> cool. <laughs> All right. That's horrifying. <sighs> Let's try the goggles. Okay, so my janky ass. Actually, it's not that janky. It's pretty cool. I'm quite proud of this. My little power supply that uses photography camera batteries. Why am I shaky? I'm like nervous. <laughs> nervous to fly. So that can live there. And then this can go here. That's powering on. Okay, all right, I'm recording DVR now. Uh, we don't have audio on it, but that's okay. And already I'm noticing a problem with these fucking walk snails. They're fogging up because I'm sweaty. <laughs> Shit. How do we mitigate that? Um, they do give you a, a rag. See, look how sweaty I am. It's fucking hot as shit today. Let's try again. Okay, that looks good. Disarmed. Uh, LQ7. LQ is to do with the ELRS feed, I believe. Um, I've got no... Oh, it's fogging up really bad, really quickly. Oh, I've got GPS coordinates. Uh, I don't have... I don't have satellites, or if I do, I can't see it. Oh no, yeah, it's up the top left. I can't see it because of the, the goggles are vignetting so hard, I actually can't see the corners, but if I adjust them, yeah, I can see that I've got five satellites right up there in the corner, so that's cool. Um, but it's so foggy. Like, I don't, I seriously, I, I, I'm not getting the, the goggles. Like, what's the fucking point? Honestly, this is, this is more complexity <laughs> and things that can go wrong. Oh, there's people there now. Damn it. So, abort. <laughs> okay, park is clear. Let's give this a go. Goggles on. Ready to sweat. Although I have cooled down a bit. Hopefully, hopefully things go well here. Uh, we've got the controller on and connected. Okay, now wait for the image. Okay, I got an image. Uh, recording DVR. Goggles fogging. <laughs> Fuck it, let's just go. Gonna arm. Hell yeah. <gasps> it works. Oh, it's quick. <laughs> All right, it's super foggy already. Like, I'm starting to lose image. It's like looking at... Looking at a fog. 
This is fucking awesome, though. I'm glad I put the time in in the simulator. That's definitely... All right, let's disarm. Nice. Good landing. Okay. <laughs> sick. Fucking sick. Uh, oh, film that. See, this sucks. Basically can't use these on a hot day because I'm just a fat, sweaty fuck half the time. So it's just absolutely shit. Recording DVR. Got an arm. Bit of a weird sound. Still a front flip. <laughs> <laughs> okay, all right. So I'm at uh, 23.4 volts. I actually did not look up when I need to stop. I'm assuming it's 22. 22 volts, I better stop. Uh, we've got altitude. We're at 11.1 .1 meters. That's awesome. We're in air mode. That means we're in... Uh, <laughs> that means we're in acro, and oh, it's getting real foggy again. GPS doesn't know my home; it's pointing in the wrong direction. But that's okay. I think that's because we didn't wait long enough, long enough before taking off the first time for GPS satellites. This is thirty-seven. This is forty meters up. Wow! Look at that fish eye. It's getting so blurry. I don't feel confident, like sort of leaving this oval. But I do feel confident enough to. It, it, I feel confident enough over the top of this oval that I could do like some front flips and stuff like that. That's not a big deal. Or like that. Oh my God. <laughs> I can, as I get closer to us, I can hear it. And it's horrifying. Absolutely terrifying. Yeah, it's getting so blurry. I'm going to bring it down. What's that beeping? Cool. Oh, again, look at this. See that? Those lenses. Yuck. Yeah, I guess I just have to land periodically and defog because it gets super, super foggy. So that sucks. Okay, so I yanked power before. Uh, before I stopped recording on the DVR. I'm wondering if that's going to have affected those flights and if I've lost those recordings. Let's go this way. Oh, pitch is getting real rough over here. I guess because the building's blocking us. I've also got the camera at a real low angle, um, probably like 20 degrees just to be safe for this flight. Man, it rips. <laughs> um, so I've got altitude, but I don't actually have a speedometer. I'd love to know how fast that is. 21.2 volts. Man, it's fucking awesome. <laughs> oh, I don't know what I'm doing there. See if I can fly between these poles. Oh, oh god. <laughs> Sketchy. All right, it's getting foggy. Let's bring it in. Oh, bit of an early touchdown there. Oh, 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 oh. Disarm. Okay, cool. And we're at, uh, where's my voltage? Total arm, four minutes. Max speed, 30 kilometers an hour. That can't be right. Black box, fault. Oh, that's because I didn't install an SD card. Uh, minimum battery, 20.89 volts. So I should probably stop there and Google how many volts I can let that cell run down to. But um, yeah, I'm going to call that a success. Fuck yeah. Okay, post-flight analysis. No crash, although a bit of a bumpy landing on that last one. Uh, but yeah, we've picked up some grass, but otherwise a bit of mud on the foot. I mean, that's to be expected. So far, so good. I mean, we will crash. That's going to happen. 
<laughs> it's just a matter of when. So, yeah. Fuck yeah, pretty stoked. Let's get this battery off. It feels a little bit warm. And um, put another one on. Get about another five minutes of flight, I think. And then go home. All right, so final battery, final flight. I'm going to put a little bit more of a... Where's my camera? I'm looking at my hands through the camera. I'm just going to put a little bit more of an up tilt on that. And I think... Yeah, something about there. That, that feels reasonable. So my forward flying is going to be at about this angle, like this. And I'm not going to talk anymore. I'm just going to let the DVR, DVR play out for the remainder of the, remainder of the video. Please, why are you beeping? What are you unhappy about? What are you said? Hmm? <laughs> <laughs> and uh, yeah, cheers, cunts. Welcome to HTX. One thing I just realized, uh, I forgot. Operating voltage of 6S cells, 25.2, uh, 4.2. Oh yeah, so a battery, when it gets to 3.2, a single cell, that's when it's dead, right? So 3.2 times 6, so 19.2 technically. I stopped at 20.1 before. Um, Everyone gives the complicated answer. 3.3 volts per cell is the lowest voltage. It's good practice when it reaches 3.5 volts, just to be safe. Okay, so 3.5, 21. All right, so when we hit 21 volts, uh, we will stop flying. If I can even get to 21 volts before the glasses fog up, <laughs> that's the problem, isn't it? Okay, let's go. Oh, yeah. Okay, oh, yeah, so with that camera forward, that's cool, because now I can go a bit faster. Yeah, this is more like what I'm used to. This is sweet. <laughs> so yeah, all that time in the simulator definitely paid off. Because I feel... I feel reasonably, reasonably confident just cruising around that I'm not going to hit anything. Then again, this is a big open space, so... Ooh, that was a bit sketchy. We are at 22.9, 23 volts. Yeah, the voltage drops off quickly when you give it throttle, which makes sense, because you're suddenly hitting the battery with tons of amps. Up near this light post. That's cool. <laughs> Do a dive. Fuck, that was close. Sounds so fucking terrifying. 22.7 volts. What? Big backflip. Let's do another one of those. <laughs> Very cool footage. 22.7 volts. Holy shit. This is giving me an adrenaline rush, honestly. This is fucking awesome. Holy shit. <laughs> hey? I know from school. Yeah, I'm nervous too, baby. <laughs> 21.9 volts. What did we say that safe cutoff was? Was it 21 volts? Let's do 21 volts. Twenty-one point seven. It is all over the place, so it's hard to sort of gauge when the best time. Like, how much battery sag is safe? I wonder. Oh, I should try and do that backwards thing. Hang on. So you come up. This will be when I crash. Oh, very high. Pitch is still pretty good. A little blocky when I get further away like that, but you know it's still usable. Latency, I don't know. I imagine that's here somewhere on the screen. Oh yeah, down the bottom, 28 milliseconds. I don't know how accurate that is. I am seeing, yeah, a bit of like image tearing. Thankfully at the moment we got a cool breeze, uh, which is keeping the screen nice and, nice and clear.
Big dive. Low battery. Okay. It actually gives me a warning in the middle of the screen. That's excellent. So I can just come in now for a nice little landing over here. Disarm. Cool. That was fucking awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like we got a little... A little friend. Pretty. Now, I noticed watching those DVR recordings back that they are very stuttery. Now, I actually didn't notice that at all in the headset. The, the footage to me, like frame rate wise, looked smooth. I didn't notice any stuttering or freezing or anything like that. I noticed the smearing when the, when the quality got like shit, like, like smudgy. But yeah, I didn't notice any of that stutteriness that we're seeing here in the DVR. So I'm, I'm wondering, is that because of uh, just the way it records or something? You know, it doesn't want to, it doesn't want to commit too many resources to the, the function of, of encoding video. So maybe the, you know, the video suffers for that or something. I don't know. The, but basically, that DVR is shockingly bad. Uh, <laughs> but the, the experience of the goggles. Uh, well, also shockingly bad, but in terms of the, the video feed, I yeah, didn't notice any of that stuttering. But yeah, the, the goggles, we should talk about those goggles. The walk, walk snail. I'm walking here. All right. <sighs> walk snails, my God. Uh, well, just goggles in general, probably. I mean, obviously I'd have to try some more goggles, but this is pretty much exactly what I thought it would be. You know, it's, it's, you're looking at a screen strapped to your head. And so that does come with all the fucking problems that I, I assumed it would come with, which is like, it's, it's unlikely to be comfortable. And unfortunately, in my case, it's not comfortable. I'm going to try and get another one of these because that would be good. Uh, I wasn't anticipating the problem I had with the fogging and the, the sweat. Uh, that sucked. <laughs> that really sucked. That that was like frightening, actually, because it was it would it was getting so foggy I could almost like not see where I was going. So that yeah, why not just have a screen? I'd rather deal with like a little bit of glare from the sun than that again. Um, but yeah, just uncomfortable. Uh, you can't see the whole image. It's like looking through a tube. It might be possible in the future with an update to like shrink the size of the screen down. Uh, but then. With something like this, wouldn't you want it to consume your whole field of vision so, you, so then you would feel immersed? Because otherwise it's just like looking at a, a rectangle, a screen, <laughs> and it's uncomfortable, and it's sweaty, and it's foggy, and it's all this extra crap, and it's expensive. I swear, I'm not just bitter about the expense and, and wanting to hate it because of that. I genuinely, uh, I really wanted to like this. I wanted this to be cool. Um, but okay, you know what? I can't, I can't draw my conclusions yet. I bought a screen and it's on the way. It's a gaming monitor, but it's a portable gaming monitor. It's not the brightest thing. It's only 350 nits, um, but it's got up to 120 hertz, 1080p. Uh, it's, it's an IPS panel, I believe, with a one millisecond latency. So that should, with a, with, a, with a mini HDMI in, I think it said, which I'm just realizing now means I have to buy a mini HDMI to mini HDMI cable. That's fucking annoying. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'll try that as well. And then I can, I, I, and I'll put it on like a little tripod or something, you know, sit with it in front of me and play it like I'm playing a, 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 the simulator. <sighs> and that should be a better experience, I think, than this. This is, it's cool, I guess, but it's, it's really, it's, it's too much. It, it, also, it's illegal, uh, which is annoying. That's going to be a risk I run every time when I fly with these. And that kind of sucks. I mean, you can do like the renegade thing. You sit in your car, you reach out, you put the drone on the roof and then you take off and then you land on the roof if, if you know, you're a competent enough pilot and then you drive away. But yeah, look, I, 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 will, I will try a screen and uh, that'll be, I think, the next video. So, all right, thanks for watching. Subscribe and... Uh, <laughs>